Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another action figure review. In this episode, we're taking a look at the WWE line Series 90 Ronda Rousey. Her debut figure, the first time in the line. Very cool looking. Uh, this is kind of a plain, I'm going to say plain figure card release. Um, it's a lot of blank white. So I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of torn between on this. Um, it's simple, it's kind of classic looking, and it does work, but I kind of miss the red colors and the bright popping stuff and all that but anyways this is series 90 ronda rousey very cool looking figure in the bubble uh we'll flip this over to the side here and we get a fit a uh listing of some of the other figures in the line we have of course ronda rousey which we're looking at today aiden english roman reigns the miz and kane this came out in 2018 and it's time to dive into the figure itself here. So um, we've actually gotten quite a few Ronda Rousey figures um, in the past year or so. But uh, this was the first one. And this is kind of the basic... Uh, I keep saying basic. I shouldn't say basic. <laughs> uh, this is kind of her in her not really ring attire, but kind of uh, like promotional attire. And for whatever reason, my knife is being weird and it's going all jaggedy here. <laughs> so, yeah, not really ring attire, but uh, more like promotional appearance attire, I guess would be what I would call that. And there's that uh, basic packaging here. It looks nice, and, but... I guess I'm used to the more colorful ones. Uh, let's crinkle some plastic here and get the figure out. And we'll go ahead and flatten the figure here and zoom in for a closer look here. How will that work? That should be fine. All right, so Ronda Rousey. Uh, first impressions, this looks like a pretty decent figure here. Um, I do sometimes use these figures as custom fodder and things like that. So when I saw this one online, I actually thought it would look, it would make a nice, decent, kind of basic figure. Um, Detail-wise here, we've got some pretty good head sculpt here. Um, nice kind of smiling Ronda Rousey facial sculpt. Looks pretty decent, actually. Nice hair sculpt. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, dial down the light here just a little bit because there are some details in the figure that I want to kind of showcase here. And they get to kind of blown out with the white highlights here. So um, she's wearing just kind of a basic... I said basic a lot today. Uh, a plain Hot Ronda t-shirt here. Kind of a throwback to the Hot Rod. Uh, but it's interesting because it's a nice looking shirt here. She's got some nice sculpts here. So you can kind of see her sports bra underneath the straps and everything here. So that's... I found that to be unique. Uh, and I was intrigued a little bit by that. She's also got kind of where... They put details in here where her shoulders are, where the shirt would kind of um, crinkle up. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty amazing looking. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a cool looking figure here. She's also got some nice details here in her, her pants. Um, maybe I can bring the brightness back up now and get some of those details in here. Nice belt detail sculpted in here. Again, those details in her pants. Um, yeah, this is actually just looked very intriguing for the essentially the basics line of the figures. 
how much detail they actually put into this particular figure. So, um, yeah, that's one of the things that kind of attracted me to this figure to begin with. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really digging the head sculpt here. Really nice. Articulation-wise, uh, the hair is that kind of soft plastic here. But, 360 degree rotation there, you just have to kind of pull her hair around to get it around her shoulders, but very nice there. She also has a little bit of up and down, not a lot of side head tilt, but a little bit there, but um, more there than I was expecting here. Uh, as far as the rest of the articulation goes, we do have the standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joints there. This time around, we actually don't have a top bicep joint. Instead, we have the swivel and rocker there at the elbow joint. So it swivels and it has a standard single elbow joint there. So that's very nice. Um, I kind of miss that swivel at the top of the bicep. We do have standard twist at the wrist. Uh, she also does not have any articulation there in the chest, so no ab crunch or anything like that, which is kind of a downside, but it looks really good. <laughs> standard twist at the waist, standard ball and swivels at the hips and waist. She has a wide opening there, so that is cool. That's probably not the right way to say that, but... Uh, Nice flexibility there, anyways. Goes back about that much, forward about that much. Um, in this particular one, there's not actually a a swivel joint there at the top of the thighs. It's kind of just a straight, straight leg, which might explain why it's got as much motion there as it does. But <clears throat> we have a very stiff, extremely stiff, knee joint. Bear with me while I get this cracked open. There we go. So, single knee joint there. We have no twist at the top of the boot, but we do have a twist at the bottom of the ankle, um, but no actual ankle articulation other than the twist there. So, uh, we're starting to get more into the actual kind of uh, limited articulation on these figures here. Um, which is a shame because this figure looks really nice. We do have a little bit of paint slop going on right there that you might not be able to see, but I see it. Little red bit there that might come out. But very cool looking though. There's also kind of a weird shimmering going on with this white that, uh, again, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not with the way the lights are, but. Yeah, it's almost like a pearlescent white kind of going on there. I don't really know what's going on there, but uh, it's kind of cool, though. Again, a little bit of paint popping out right there. Not that big of a deal, uh, but it's a cool looking figure here. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this particular figure. Uh, again, they've done a great job with the sculpt there for the face. The body sculpt looks really nice. Um, a little bit limited on the articulation, but that's kind of be, to be expected in this particular line of figures. To get that extra articulation, you do really have to jump up to that elite line. But I don't think they've really gotten a nice kind of promotional Ronda Rousey figure in the elite line yet. It's been mostly like ring attire kind of stuff. She had the one with the uh, the nice leather jacket as well, but for some reason those haven't really worked as well for me as this one. And I don't know. It may be the face sculpt on this particular one. It just looks more inviting. And I don't really know, but it's still a cool figure, and I'm actually still really liking this one so far.
But that's all the time we've got for today. So thanks for watching as always. Uh, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this Ronda Rousey figure. How does it compare to some of the rest of the figures in the line? Um, how does it compare to some of the other Ronda Rousey figures in the line? And just kind of what are your thoughts in general here? Um, if you would like to see anything in future episodes, drop a comment down below as well. I'll do my best to get it out in front of y'all. Um, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, share, like, comment, all the other algorithmic -y things that are required these days to say at the end of a video. So I'm going to close it with that, and uh, we'll see you next time.